Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day and that you watch this video till the very end. This library is awesome. Hi, Vinchel. I didn't think I would see you here. I'm so glad. Oh, I like this book too. My favorite character is Aspiring Wings. What about you? Which one do you like? Oh, sorry. I tend to get overexcited when it comes to things I like. I'm sorry for bothering you. Huh? Really? Mm-hmm. That's right. I... The Aspiring Wings is my favorite too. Jeez, what a coincidence. I want to be friends with her. The scar? It's not really a taboo topic. It was around the start of summer vacation. I was unlucky and got into a road accident. I injured my head and was left with the scar. Apparently, this injury might have also affected my memory. I think that's about it. Isn't that extremely severe? To be honest, I'm a little behind on our recent classes. Liangshan was the top scorer of our batch on the school entrance examination. I heard that she also excels in many other aspects. And even before the start of school, she was a good student that the teachers all looked forward to, the promising student that the school had high hopes for. But everything changed because of this unexpected scar. What if this really affects her grades? It's okay. I don't want to be depressed because of it. I don't want the scar to become the end of my story. I want it to be just an ordinary part of my past. This won't defeat me. She's so dazzling. The more I get to know her, the more I look up to her. I want to be like her too. Liang Xuan didn't really try to hide the cause of the scar on her forehead. It didn't take too long before all our classmates got to know about it. Then, the change started when the result of the first placement test were announced. Liang Xuan didn't perform very well. Everyone paid a lot of attention to this matter because they were curious. Did she really become stupid? Oh my god, is the former top scorer an idiot now? Doesn't that mean that all of us are better than her now? And also, we can easily step on her. In a school that placed great importance on grades, it was easy for Melis to sprout. Until it eventually bloomed into a poisonous flower. Don't you think Liang Shuang's annoying? Who is she trying to show off that big scar to? Exactly. It's disgusting. Lol, is she trying to create a disabled but determined persona? That's so dumb. Liang Shuan? It's okay. I'll wait a little longer before I enter. The next day... Liang Shuan covered her scar. I guess she gave it some thought and made this compromise in order to fit into our class. Hoping to gain our classmates' acknowledgement and understanding, only to realize later that the move gave off the wrong signal. 
just like how in the animal kingdom the carnivorous king exposes a life-threatening injury. Others of the same species will detect the smell of weakness and rot. Our classmates too understood immediately. Ah, uh, she's caving in. The violence slowly transitioned from verbal to physical. Until... One day, she stopped coming to school, unable to bear it. A week later, Liang Chuan committed suicide near her house. Just how do you handle things? She's your student. Forget it. She's already dead anyway. Pick yourselves up and take care of the reparations. Always keep the big picture in mind. The reputation of the school holds the utmost importance. Good thing she didn't kill herself on school grounds. Everyone's a murderer, even me. Every one of us murdered her. We played down her dead so easily and forgot about her. How could she not hold a grudge against us? She was the one who decided to kill herself off. What's it got to do with us? I'm sorry. Even though it was only for a short while, I've also been in everyone's care. Hearing what you just said kind of makes me a little pissed off. So, can I ask you to shut up for a moment? Uh, is that so? I'm sorry. Bai Zhang Yan, you said before that it'd be too much if only the kind-hearted people were wrecked with guilt. In a world like ours, I've always felt guilty hearing that. Because I'm not kind at all. That I was striking up a conversation with you? Or those insignificant efforts of mine? It was all to just ease the feeling of my guilt. I'm truly cowardly and despicable. When? I watched Liang Xuan get bullied? The first thought that came to my mind was actually, I don't want to become like her. I didn't know you were so bad. I was feeling pretty bored. But things are starting to get interesting. <laughs>